you have a Discord server and you want to add roles in your Discord server. How do you do that? You go to Discord, you go to your server and then click here on this arrow. Then here we go to server settings. Here in the server settings, we go to roles and it says create role. Here we see all the roles that we already have. So we're going to create a role and we can give it a name. So I'm going to call it test for now because this is just the test for the tutorial. Here we can choose a color or we can click on this to choose anything. So for example, this purple. If your server is level two nitro, you can also choose an image, but you have to boost the server for that. So that costs money. Here you can display the role separately from online members. I'm gonna save this for a second and go back to the server to show you. So here, for example, the happy birthday and the mod role, the Twitch subscriber role, level 20, level 15, are different than just the online that we have here. So these are just online people, these are online, but these other roles are separate. They become their own category. If we go back to the role section, if we click this, the role test will become its own category. Allow anyone to mention this role. This is good, for example, for a mod role where people need to tag it. Otherwise, if you take this on, what will happen is that people are going to tag this role and people are going to be annoyed by all the notifications they will get. You can view the server as if you have this role. So you can see which permissions they have. So you know if they can see the things that you want them to see. Here on the left, you see all these roles and the order does actually matter because the higher this role is on this letter, the higher it is sent in the anarchy of permissions. So if you would put test before mods, mods can ban tests because that role is higher than the mod role. You have to keep in mind that if you have bots and they have their own roles, that you keep them above the roles that you let them interact with, because otherwise they can change things. For example, we have the birthday bot, which needs to give and take the happy birthday role. If you put the happy birthday role above the bot role, it can't interact with it. Here we see manage members, which means that we can see which members have this role. We can add members in here to add to this role. We can also add the role to people by clicking on them and then clicking on the plus and then giving them test. Just click on here and now Nim has test and removing it by clicking on the X. The last thing I want to show you guys, if, if we go back to roles and go back to the test role, we can have permissions here. Permissions can be set per channel, but also in general. So here is few channels. Now we can see the channels in a Discord server. Manage channels, it can change the channels. Good for a mod role, not so good for other things. Manage roles, it can change these roles just like we're doing right now. Manage emotes and stickers, it can add emotes and stickers to your server. View the audit log, can see who left the server, joined the server, who got banned. View server insights, so for example, statistics on how many people joined. Manage webhooks and manage server. These things are all kind of like moderator things. So you don't want to give these to other roles than the moderator roles. Create an invite for the server and change their nickname. Create an invite to the server, which is a new link for people to come into your server. You can also just share a link that you made yourself in one of your info channels. And then you don't need this because people can just use that one link. They can choose their nickname, manage other people's nicknames, Again, I wouldn't like allow them to do that. <laughs> Kick members, ban members, timeout members, mod actions. So not everybody should be able to do that. Send messages. Of course, you want them to be able to talk. Send messages into threads and make threads. Create private threads. So these are just invite only threads. And then uh, they can put links in the chat, attach files and add reactions. Reactions are like if you press this and leave a reaction like this. And you have this little reaction icon underneath. So use external emotes. If they have Nitro, they can use emotes from other servers. And if they don't, they can use Twitch emotes of subscribed channels and same with stickers. I would keep mention at everyone and hear out because people are gonna try and spam and you don't want that. Manage messages and manage threads. Again, moderation actions. Read message history. You wanna turn this on. If you do not turn this on, People can only see the messages posted when they are active in that one channel and they will not see anything else. So this is really annoying. If you forget to turn it on, <laughs> people won't see anything in the channels. Text to speech messages. Usually I will keep this off because they can become really spammy. Slash commands. This could be for bots to interact with. For example, the birthday bot or the reaction role bot. Connect to voice channels, speak in voice channels and use the videos. Kind of speaks for its own. Use activities. Use voice activation, I will just keep that on. Then they can use, just, they can talk to their microphone and we'll pick them up instead of that they have to use push to talk. Priority speaker, don't put this on for everyone because that if you push to talk, everybody is quiet automatically. <laughs> Mute members, again, deafen members and move members are moderation actions you don't want to give everybody. 
request to speak. This is in the stage channel. So stage channels are kind of like podcast kind of things or uh, seminar kind of things. And people can request to speak and ask a question. Manage events. So you can create events like a seminar or something like that that you want to do in your server. And then people can start being part of that. So again, a moderation action. And administrator is you make them an official moderator in your Discord server. So again, you don't want to give that to everyone. So that is how you make a role in Discord and how you can set it up. If you want people to use an emote and get a role automatically, I do have a video about how to get reaction roles right here, which goes deep into how to use a bot to set the system up. So people can choose their own roles and you don't have to assign them manually.